he's done good interviews with interesting people. Like he got Tupac's dad, mm -hmm. someone I'd been trying to get for a while, but he managed to, yeah. you know, to get that interview. And, and I salute him for doing that. My only thing has always been that that the look of the thumbnails was just way too similar yeah. to what our thumbnails look like. He used the exact same font, the same font size, the way it's laid out. He starts out the interview with the same, all right, here we go. Mm -hmm. He has a different voice than mine, I understand that, but I felt like, you know, that right there, like, like the, those two things right there create a sense of confusion with the audience where I have get, gotten multiple angry phone calls from people mm -hmm. saying, why did you interview so-and-so and talk about the I thought we were cool, and it's like, not my interview. Yeah. You know, and he doesn't even put a logo on the thumbnail. You see what I'm saying? Like, we put our logo on everything, but yeah. it's usually small. So it's like, if it looks the same and there's no logo, it, you would think that it's our so that's the only thing I've ever had a problem with. His name is Art, right? Yeah. Is that it sets up a level of confusion with the audience where they think it's Art, mm -hmm. which ultimately has a backlash for me sometimes. Um, you know, put Art of Dialogue in big letters on your thumbnails yeah. or in small letters. Use a slightly different font. I mean, I can't say that because it's a font and it's a public font. Right. But just, you know, yeah. I'm not disparaging his work. I'm just saying that and I think he knows what he's doing. You know, I don't think it's an accident because he would have switched it at one point. Is that I think that he sort of said, okay, Vlad has this following for this type of thing. I'm going to go ahead and do a similar type of content and, you know, kind of piggyback on what Vlad is doing a little bit by making some people think that this is actually Vlad's when they click on it. And that's the only part that I don't like. But at the end of the day, it's it's whatever. It's not any sort of real, you know, I mean, I feel like like what he's he, he is getting Good interviews, and we sometimes look at his channel for ideas of guests that we should bring in. You know, mm -hmm. we brought in Charlie Baltimore recently. You mm -hmm. know, and I looked at some of his interviews when trying to formulate questions, which I'm sure he does with me also. Yeah. There, there, there's, there's enough. But my point is, there's enough room for all of us to flourish, without us trying to somehow copy each other and try to trick viewers into thinking that it's really. You know, what I mean, like. Well, DJ Vlad joins me now. DJ Vlad, thank you very much indeed for joining the show. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. I know you've, you've studied this case uh, for so long. And these interviews that you did uh, with Keefe D, they've turned out to be extremely significant in this investigation, leading, in fact, to him being arrested and indicted. When you heard that news, how did you feel? Well, I mean, the goal wasn't really to get anyone arrested. It was really just to get the truth of the matter. Uh, the story about Orlando Anderson killing Tupac, I've known since around 2007. So A three-month-long grand jury investigation. Prosecutors showed the grand jury photos of the people in the white Cadillac with Keefe D that night. Along with Keefe D, there was also the driver, Terrence Brown, and backseat passengers, DeAndre Big Dre Smith, and Keefe D's nephew, Orlando Anderson. Prosecutors also showed clips from interviews that Keefe D granted to the Art of Dialogue YouTube channel. Prosecutors showed grand jurors a full interview of Keefe D that was posted in September of 2021. Keefe Yo, 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 it's Big Ant the Spokesman, man. We back, another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in, and if you've been following me on YouTube for a while now, do you pretty much know when things is real between two individuals or two groups and I know it's going to lead to something else and turn it into a bigger problem? I always speak on them type of things in a way of, hey, let's come to an understanding, let's communicate so this ain't got to go nowhere worse than it already is. But at other times, I come on here and tell you straightforward. I'm here for the drama, the BS and the nonsense, and I'm here for the entertainment that comes with it because I know it's not going to get that serious. And it's no different right here between DJ Vlad and all the dialogue. And I had a link in the description from Bob First where Vlad did the interview at where he was asked about all the dialogue and there were similar things of the way their presentation is. And then where... They had the interview with Pierce Morgan at after Keefe D was arrested and it was the conversation of Vlad interviews being used as part of the case. And then the clip from Law and Crime Network that all the dialogue put on his Instagram showing that his interviews got used 
in Keefe D's case for the grand jury and everything like that. Now, I'm going to tell you like this. Vlad had also did an interview with Maz Hoffa. Or the dog log name came up. And I guess dog felt the way about it. Because in the bar first comments, he said this. No one is mistaking my platform for Vlad TVs. It's only Vlad TV pushing that narrative. Perhaps out of jealousy. Most of our interviews feature diverse backdrops. While many of Vlad TVs are set against the same drum set. It's a stretch to say we're being confused solely because of the impact font which many media, media platforms use. I wish Vlad TV well and hope he can move past any negative feelings towards my platform. Also, on a dialogue made post on Instagram, because Vlad had been saying before uh, Keefe D even got arrested, I pretty much solved the Tupac case. On a dialogue said, Vegas investigators say Keefe D's original confession was not used because it was given in exchange for immunity. However, prosecutors say information from interviews Keefe D gave to all the dialogue is valid because it violates his agreement with authorities. This video shows local Vegas news and authorities using interviews from the art of dialogue as evidence to prosecute Keefe D in the murder of Tupac. He also came with that other post in the caption and said, hey, the Art of Dialogue interviews was shown to the grand jury and recognized as critical evidence in Keefe D's upcoming trial. A lot of you platforms are going to be looking goofy when the official evidence list comes out and you find out your interviews weren't used as evidence. And I'm going to keep it all the way a thousand. Seeing people won't credit for their product, their interviews, being used as part of the case to get somebody locked up for murder is why. That's just the way that I came up, the way that I was raised. I don't want that. I don't even want my interviews to be lead to why niggas got in a fist fight, let alone facing a murder charge for something 27 years ago. Keefe D played a role in it on his own with the questions he was answered and everything. But I'm the nigga like, hold on, bro. This ain't what I'm here for. I don't want my platform, my name, my brand mixed in with something like that. But you see what they own. Everybody moved different. We've heard Vlad say people call me the cops, people call me the feds and everything. My interviews don't get nobody locked up. But at the same time, he's saying this interview solved this murder case. And I'm like, which way do you want it, bro? Do you want to be known as a nigga that's operating doing police work? Or do you want to do a nigga that's doing interviews? But hey, mine just so happened to be used as police work. You don't get to create your own narrative with this because you're operating in the rap, hip-hop, urban space. If you create product and help a nigga hang himself, he, that nigga has to take accountability for what he did because he went on there and talked. But your questions is what helped him get locked up. You played a role in it also. Everybody got to take accountability. Uh, Art is saying, hey, nigga, I want the credit for it. I tell y'all like this when it come to that. Him and Vlad going back and forth with their little issues. They going to do what they do. I had seen Art come on the scene a few years ago. My bro watching my nigga Poop. He be tapped in Studio 56 podcast because he followed Tupac real heavy. Even before he started getting all the interviews on camera and everything, he was tapped in. So we seen it elevate. When I first saw the channel, I said it's similar, it's similar to Vlad. But me working YouTube, if I'm already hip to who Vlad is... Once I click on the dialogue one time, I now know the difference of them because of one, you're going to see the name of the title underneath it where it says on the dialogue. You're going to see that logo. Even if you're looking at the YouTube application on your TV, it's easy to tell the difference. So saying that a nigga's trying to trick people still, if your people are there to see Vlad TV, they're going to be able to see an on the dialogue interview is not church. Vlad said he was called by somebody. That's on them because they should be able to look and see, hold on, this ain't Vlad TV. This is all the dialogue. I understand he's saying the similarities and everything. You can't deny that when it comes to the presentation. But overall, nobody's confusing all the dialogue with Vlad TV anymore, even if they were in the beginning after watching one video. There's plenty of things that you can tell that that's not a Vlad TV or all the dialogue and everything like that. But they going to pop their stuff. They gonna go back and forth, and we'll see how it play out. This right here is just entertainment on that case. And I do gotta say this also, I keep hearing this justice for Tupac conversation. 
let's be for real. They been knew who was in the car, and this is being done on a technicality. This is not no new information for anybody to solve this murder. They found the technicality that they could charge Keefe D, who they knew was in the car all along. They could have been charged him with an accomplice to being inside the car. This was not being hidden information or nothing like that. They just looked for a technicality to where they can get the indictment now, if we keeping it all the way a thousand, bro. Nothing new under the sun with this case. They just have what they can now to try to wiggle this in everybody's face. It's justice for Tupac. And that ain't that. You want to know why? Because Tupac has said out his own mouth he don't rock with police. He would not want the police to be involved in his murder. He had the opportunity while his last breaths were being taken. He said, F y'all. On top of that, his mother is documented on camera saying after Tupac was dead, don't worry about my son. He lived his life already. Focus on these other kids that are out here. So make sure y'all understand what y'all is pushing when people are saying justice for Tupac. And that is no disrespect to Tupac's father, brother, or anybody else who is still living. I'm just talking about these people who just running with the narrative out here that this was being done for Tupac. They been had all the information they needed. Keefe D is not the one who was being charged with pulling the trigger. They been knew he was inside the car. Keeping it all the way a thousand, man. Tell me what y'all think. We got more coming, more videos, all that. Stay on your pivot.